Hey, Capricorn Moon, how are you guys? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your time and your patience and your energy, your understanding, your love, your light. Thank you guys so much. I just really appreciate you rocking with me. Capricorn Moon, these will be your general messages for the new moon that runs from September 28th through October the 27th. So basically your moon sign for October. This moon sign was pretty much about the things that we want to re-inspire ourselves with or reinvent ourselves with or re-identify ourselves. You know, that moment where it's you're looking at the year and you're like, okay, this needs to happen in order for my new year to be like this, right? So let's take a look and see what, what the energies have for you guys. What is it that you guys need to reinvent? What do you guys need to change? You know, we're in Libra season right now. Scorpio season is next. And Scorpio is that energy of change and, and transformation. But now it's that time where we weigh things in the balance and figure out what it is that we do need to change and transform. So let's take a look at that right now for you, Capricorn. Okay. All right. Now, this also may be, um, you know, you may find your message here if you are Capricorn, Sun, and Rising, or Venus as well. Okay, we're not going to exclude you, but the intention is set for our moon signs here. Okay? Or for the moon sign of whoever you may be watching for. All right? All right. So, let's take a look at our central energy. Ah, Capricorn Moon, the star. <gasps> beautiful, beautiful energy to start out with. The star. The star card. Listen, Capricorn Moon, for some of you, I feel like this is where you may be, like, uh, for some of you, I feel like this is where, like, you may be coming out of a tragedy of some sort. You may be coming out of something that really hurt you. You may be coming out of something or just a situation that was just, that just crumbled. You know, the tower card is what comes before the star. So for some of you guys, you may have had a tower moment, even though the tower isn't showing up yet. But you may have had that moment and you guys are holding on to faith, holding on to your dream that something is, is going to work out for you. Others of you, this is where... Um, Others of, you, others of you, this is where you, the, the stars are, are leading you um, to your destiny, okay? But, again, you're having to have that faith in the stars in order to be led by something. You understand? So let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so the card that we have here in the recent past is the Judgment card. Listen, wow, another major Arcana card to pop out right for you there, Capricorn Moon. So, in the past, I really feel like what this is saying, this is saying, it's like, okay, you know, you yeah, it, it wasn't really that there was a tower moment. It was just that there was a, a judgment call that needed to be made. You took a big review of your life. You took a big review of a particular situation that was playing in your life, Okay. And you decided to uh, to follow either that or follow against that. All right. Um, there were some things that you had to probably call to the carpet or for some things, actually, spirit brought them to your attention. So to force you to make a judgment call on it. OK, so you guys might be right there, right in the middle of that moment right now. Oh, some of you might be in the middle of hearing that trumpet. For some of you, this may even be the first you hear of you needing to, to take a look at the things around you or that people are, are even judging you, okay? The sun. Ah, I knew. See, I knew there had to be something there because, listen, first of all, <clears throat> let me see. Let me say one thing here. First of all, the sun is also a star. 
Okay. Well, as we hear it, as we see it now, you know, uh, back in the day, the sun was a planet, but the sun is actually a star. So some of you, you're following yourself. You're following your own lead and uh, love that. And that's what, that's what you needed to hear for some of you. It's stop following other people and putting faith in other people. You need to follow yourself. You need to put faith in yourself, okay? You have the power, you have the energy of the sun to expose or to um, shed light on, on anything, okay? And I mean, you can't make any judgment calls anyway without being shown all the facts, okay? So you've been shown all the facts about something. You've been shown all the info about something. And now you know everything about it or everything you can know about it. And now it's time to, to, to make a choice, to make that judgment call. And others of you, it's like you're listening to your intuition. For, for a lot of you, you're listening to your intuition. And I like it. All right. Let's keep going forward. Oh, there's that tower. There's that freaking tower. Yep. There's that tower. The tower is there to let us know that, listen, you. There, there's OK, there's a potential here. I don't. OK, the tower moment hasn't come yet. That's why the star came out first. The tower moment hasn't happened yet. But it but but listen, it's. It may not happen, though, at all. For some of you, this is where if you're continuing to follow other people or you're continuing to follow trends and gossip or, um, you know, just anything that is just not you. Right. If anything, if you guys just continue to, to, to follow those things, the tower moment is going to come because the tower moment has to happen in order for you to really get it, to really snap out of it. And then, of course, you know, this, you know, you, you, you move on into, you know, better things after that, hopefully. But the tower card right after the sun, right after right after the judgment card, spirit is saying Capricorn moon. Capricorn moon spirit is saying, I am trying to lead you. If you just have faith, spirit is saying, if you just have faith, I'm trying to lead you. To, to, I'm just trying to lead you. I'm trying to lead you toward that success, towards whatever it is that you want. But if you continue to follow others, if you continue to, you know, follow these trends and stuff like that, it's like spirit is going to have no choice but to like, uh, I was trying to tell you. What's, what's at the belly of here of this? The justice card. Capricorn moon, this is just profound. Every card has been major arcana. The justice card. Mm. Spirit is letting me know that this is your time now. This is your time. This is your time. Spirit says, I will create a tower moment. I'll create an issue. If that's what I have to do to get through to you, but I'm going to get through to you and you're going to see the right thing to do. Wow. This is also karmic. This is very karmic as well. Capricorn moon. This is very, this is very karmic. This is. It's good karma. It's, it's, it's really, it's, it's great karma coming back towards you with the judgment, or excuse me, the justice card and the judgment. And then the sun, this is saying that something so terribly bad has happened to you or something, some situation happened against you to, and, and because you never lost faith in yourself or lost faith in whatever goal you were trying to get to Capricorn moon. This is spirit saying, I'm about to align some stuff. That's just going to be specifically for you specifically for you to completely rectify the way that you were wronged um, elsewhere. Okay.
Let's move forward here. Your current environment is the devil. Again, another major arcana. Some of you are just really in a dark space right now. And honestly, so far, this reading has just, this reading really hasn't been more, so far this reading isn't about anything that you've done or anything that's been done to you. This, this reading is really about spirit trying to get your fucking attention. Look at all this major arcana. Spirit has been trying to, Capricorn Moon, the month of October may be a very hard month. Only because there's not a lot of spaces so far where I see you have a lot of control. I don't really see what you're operating in. All I see is that you are getting a lot of information coming through from spirit. You may be seeing a lot of angel numbers here. But the devil card right here in this position, Capricorn Moon, is letting me know that for some of you, you have... You have hit rock bottom. You've gotten to rock bottom somewhere. Okay. And the thing about it, though, is that you're never bound to be anywhere. Okay. You're never bound here. But the thing is, is that something has a hold on you so bad that you actually feel that you are. Okay. You're not bound. You're not chained. There's chains. Yes. But you're not bound or chained. Look at the elements here that are also hanging down from this. Okay. We've got the water, the fire, the air, and the, um, the earth there. This is you holding yourself back. This is actually you. Uh, I feel like this is like reverse magician in a way. Like this is you having all the tools but then not using them effective to pull yourself out of the situation that you're in, okay? And that's why spirit is trying to say, look, Capricorn Moon, like, get it together. It, it, your time is about to happen. Whatever happened to you um, or whatever happened as a result of something else from before, yeah, that happened, okay? But you can't be depressed about it. You can't hold yourself back about it. You can't be vengeful about it, I feel like, in a way. For some of you, it's like you're punishing yourself with it, Okay? But spirit is saying for some of you, though, for others, for others of you, those are the ones who are like who kind of have lost faith. But for others of you, the ones who have kind of really kept the faith, there still has been a pull to like may have opt to may. You may still want to like operate in that in that really dark negative space. OK. Let's look, let's move on. Hopes and fears. The emperor again, major arcana. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I, I sense, I sense, I sense a, red, a redemption. This may be a redemption arc for someone. The emperor here, for for, and I, I say that with the emperor because with the emperor. You know, the emperor actually really is the boss, you know, or at least a, a boss. But the emperor didn't really put too much action, you know, I mean, he just kinds of, you know. Uh, he just kind of is, he's just kind of, he just kind of is this presence. Okay. So what I'm saying is, is I feel like for a lot of you, it's, you know that you have power, you know that you are this presence to be reckoned with, but something has happened that has kind of, kind of damaged that ego a little bit. And spirit is saying like, listen, no, you're still that magnificent person. Okay. You're still that, that ruler that sits there. You're still pretty much in control of whatever. Well, I won't say in control fully because, again, this is spirit letting us know that, you know, he's trying to tell you something or goddess or spirit or, or God or whatever it is that you feel, you know, because everybody thinks something different. But for me, it's it's just spirit universe or my spirit guides, you know, is definitely trying to get my attention or trying to get your attention here. 
Like you still are this person. You still are this leader, the emperor, a king. You know, you're still that. But remember it. Yeah, some unfair things have happened, but spirit is going to be there to make that make that whole again. You just have to keep keep looking toward that faith. Keep looking toward the sun like you're doing here. Okay. There was something else I wanted to say, but it'll pop out. It'll pop back. All right. The outcome card is the Ten of Cups. Uh, Look at there. The first card that isn't Major Arcana. And it's like the best card. (laughs) The Ten of Cups. Wow. So I feel like there's... Okay. What what I'm seeing here for you, Capricorn Moon, this definitely has a lot to do with family. Um... Family or just being 100% like emotionally content, emotionally secure, 100%. This is, this is where, this is where maybe possibly, you know, you, your family have been going through a, a little bit of a, of, of a rough time, but you were still needing to be that matriarch or that patriarch of the family to make all of the decisions, to make all of the all of the, um, you know, judgment calls moving forward. And I can understand why it would feel so heavy. It's like, I am the one that has to make all of these decisions. Everyone is going to be mad at me if these things don't, you know, pan out, you know, but you're stepping into this moment where it's, it's, this is, it's, it's destiny with the star and the justice card there is definitely destiny. Okay. There may be a, a, a Libra or an Aquarius very, very close to you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. And then the devil is the Capricorn card anyway. And so with you being Capricorn moon, yes, that definitely puts you in your own energy here. But you totally um, are, are having to make decisions about people that you're responsible to. And you don't know if you're doing the right thing. You don't know if you're making the right decisions, but you are. Spirit is letting you know that you are, you just traumatized from what has already happened before, or you're traumatized prematurely by what could happen if you don't make certain decisions. But, ooh, wow, Capricorn Moon, this is deep. This is really deep. Let's throw some dice. All right, so we have the sign, Sagittarius, the uh, symbol for Mars, and the number four. Yes. So we know that the number four is about home. It's about your stability. Okay. So some of you may be making certain decisions. Some of you, the literal tower may have literally been that your home burned down. Or something happened to your home and now you're having to make certain decisions about maneuvering your family to other things. And also at the same time dealing with all the negative mess from that occurrence. But you're being led by the stars. The biggest star being the sun, meaning that you have to follow your, your, own, your own self. You can't follow anybody, other's path, anybody else's path. This is not about anybody else. This is about you and yours. Keep the faith. You are the leader there. That's what I wanted to say. The emperor, that's what I knew it was going to come back to me. The emperor, even though it is major arcana, it's actually really been the first card that I see that makes me feel like I could actually place you there. Okay. And with the 10 of cups, look at what you're leading your beautiful family into. Okay. Or maybe even out of, because with the 10 of cups there, the 10 is meaning that you're at the end. So you maybe look look at all the negative shit that you're leading your family out of, but also look at what everything you're leading them into. Okay, the Mercury or the sign for Mars is there. So things are happening fast. Things are happening in the fast. Things are happening now. Um, And um, I feel like a lot of male energy coming off of this. I felt a lot of male energy coming off of this anyway. So Capricorn Moon, I know, I actually, I think I have a lot of more female subscribers, but Capricorn Moon, I feel like now you may be operating in the more, your more masculine side. Um, 
and then the next um the next symbol we have is Sagittarius, okay? So if Sagittarius is significant to you in any way, let me know in the comment box below, all right? Um, but with the Sagittarius symbol there also, this is an experience though that, that you've, that you've ne really never been on before. So like you kind of hear your purpose to go through this is not just for no reason, it's because um, you, know, you, signed up for this, you signed up for this particular experience before you were born. All right. So we've got the 12th house escape. Yeah. The koala spirit. Spirit has no plan. Or excuse, excuse me, spirit has a spirit has a plan. I'm sorry. It says spirit has a plan and then the next card is table gathering. Listen. You listen. This, honestly, these three cards here say exactly what I was saying down here. All this major arcana here with the koala spirit, spirit has a plan for you, okay? All you have to do is just trust in that plan and you'll have everything that you desire for you and yours. Spirit has a plan. Spirit has a plan. Card number 35. Next card is card number 36, 12th house escape. So we see that progression. 12th house escape. This is very Pisces energy, okay? For you guys, you're needing what you're needing to do is you're needing to escape the uh, you're needing to escape this devil energy right now. Because that's what you're operating in in the right now. You're needing to escape that. You're needing to get away from that. OK, you have every tool available to you here. Because look at it. You have all the elements here. You have air, water, earth and fire. I'm uh, sure I said that out of order, but but you have them all there, okay? And also you have a pinnacle there too. So you still actually it may be rock bottom, but it's still a bottom. It's a foundation, okay? So you have that. Run with it, and then look at everything that you can bring to the table. That that get, table gathering. I feel like that goes together with that perfectly. Because this is comfort. This is comfort. This is comfort. This is being able to sit at the table every day with your family and know that everything is going to be fine because spirit has a plan and all you have to do is escape that negative ass mindset from what has happened to you before and just continue to keep the faith because your home life is going to be set. Okay, just operate a little bit more in your masculine side there. All right. Because the emperor is definitely very Mars energy, okay? The Mars symbol right there, the male symbol. So just might have to operate more in your masculine side a little bit. Sorry if that makes your husbands a little bit nervous, but <laughs> I mean, but hey, I'm sure he'll appreciate. I'm sure he'll appreciate it once uh, <laughs> once he sees that ten of cups energy pouring in. Let's look at the card that was under the deck. The two of cups. Ah. <laughs> Look at there. That two of cups energy is beautiful. That two of cups energy is there because you guys um, are beginning to see eye to eye with spirit here. You're beginning to see eye to eye with spirit. You're beginning to work out those things with spirit. OK. Also, if this is completely about your relationship or about your marriage, which I suspect that it was being that the ten of cups card came here in the outcome. This is saying that you guys are going to have to work together, allow spirit to work together. You guys are going to have to really have some sort of coming together where it's just like, listen, OK, we don't know all the answers. We can't figure this out 100 percent. Let's together trust in spirit that he'll make a way or let's together trust in the universe that things will come out the way they need to come out. And you guys following that, I think that's what's going to work this time. Um, that's what's going to bring you guys more together. Okay, so Capricorn Moon, I'm going to let you guys go, but let me know how this works out for you guys in the comment box below. It's been a pleasure. You guys, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, go ahead. Just email me, luminantlibratero at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much again for your patience, and I'm out. Bye.